Hi everyone. Uh, it's great to be with you today. It's um, it's, it's August uh, 23rd. Um, pray that you were able to join us in worship yesterday, either online or, or in person. Uh, and I know that usually uh, we begin uh, on a Monday, we, we begin to, in a sense, delve deeper into what we talked about the previous Sunday. But I, I want to pause with that. There just seems to be uh, so much going on right, right now. Um, you know, we, we've got the, the Delta variant, this COVID Delta variant that's uh, turned our lives upside down a little bit. We've got a lot of kids uh, who, are, who are sick. Even we, we uh, didn't have children's church and nursery this last week because we had a few kids come down with that. Um, and, and of course, um, schools are struggling with that and the like. Um, I want to, uh, pa Pastor Nathan was not able to be here. Uh, he had his, of course, one of his children has uh, this Delta variant and, and uh, he didn't feel real good. So he was getting tested. Um, I have a good friend of mine, another pastor whose uh, wife I'm praying for. She was hospitalized uh, this last week. So uh, I don't know where you're at, but it just seems with that that thing that our world's getting turned upside down again, uh, and then we're dealing with these fires. You know, um, and it's hard to breathe, uh, and I feel so selfish when I say that because uh, I'm saying, "Boy, poor me! I'm having a hard time breathing." And yet we think about the folks that have lost their homes, people who have lost their lives, people who are fighting those fires every day. Uh, we think about Afghanistan and talk about the world being turned upside down uh, with, with so many folks there and and uh, just um, the the horror that that they're going through and and, uh, uh, and and you know what what's that what that's doing to the world even at, at this point um, uh, and so all these things are going on uh, we got the Haiti earthquake uh, you know, over 2,000 people have died that and uh, uh, folks are trying to help there so so it seems like so many places in our lives right now, and, and what's going to everyone else personally, right? Um, so many places in our lives, uh, there's great upheaval, there's great struggle. So, so I thought I would acknowledge that uh, on this Monday morning uh, and read a psalm that I think uh, focuses on that, uh, and, and we'll pray about it, uh, and then we'll pick up our, our th weekly theme tomorrow then, okay? So this is uh, one of my favorite psalms, it's Psalm 46 says here, God is our refuge and strength. Boom. God. He's the rock. He's our refuge and strength. Doesn't matter what's going on around us. God is our refuge and strength in the midst of all the storms. So it goes like this. God is our refuge and strength, uh, an ever-present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not be afraid, though the earth give way and the mountains fall into the heart of the sea, though its waters roar and foam and the mountains quake with their surging. So even when the world gets turned upside down, right? Uh, you have the picture here of creation itself being just just like this great cauldron, right? Um, even though all these things happen, God is our refuge and strength. He's like the rock. Uh, we, we can have the COVID thing going on. Uh, we can have Afghanistan and, and the horrors there, and, and we pray for those people. We can have uh, Haiti and the same thing. We can have these fires, uh, the uncertainty of our lives, whatever it might be, but God is our refuge and strength. God is our refuge and strength, and he's greater than it all. He's the rock. Huh? Um, in, in the words of the psalm, all creation can be re, can be turned upside down, but God's the creator. He's in charge. He's, he's, he's the one that, that uh, we, we can rest in. goes on. Um, let me see. Therefore, we won't be afraid. And then it says, there's a river. Uh, and, and so the, the the psalm changes. You get you get this boom boom boom. You know you, the the earth's being turned upside down. We're not afraid because God is our rock. And then all of a sudden, it's almost as if you can see that there's peacefulness here. Uh, there's a river, whose streams make glad the city, the people of God, the holy place where God dwells. God dwells with His people in the midst of all this ruckus, huh? God is within her; she will not fall. God will help her at the break of day. From, from the very beginning of the day, God, God is there. And so there's this river, the, um, like a meandering stream that uh, brings peace everywhere. Of course, um, we know uh, Jesus as the Prince of Peace, huh? and he says, I'm the water of life. Uh, Book of Revelation, there's the river that goes down the middle of the city and so forth. Um, so this points us to Jesus, who's the peace in our life. Uh, in the midst of all these things. And then it says, it changes again, the nations, the folks uh, who don't know Jesus, the uh, the word here means the unbelieving nations, you know, the unbelieving people and peoples. Uh, uh, they, uh, they are in an uproar. Uh, you know, 
they don't have the rock. The kingdoms fall. Uh, sometimes the, the, their kingdoms uh, fall. Crazy things happen in our world. But God, he lifts his voice and the earth melts. But us, you know, the, there's a comparison here. We, we know God uh, by his grace. Huh? We know him through Jesus Christ. The Lord Almighty is with us. The God of Jacob is our castle, right? He's the one that is our protection, our rock. He surrounds us during these times. Um, come and see. Come and see the works of the Lord. The desolations he has brought on the earth. He makes war cease to the ends of the earth. He breaks the bow and shatters the spear. He burns the shields with fire. Come and see that God brings peace. Uh, and the greatest place he points us to as New Testament Christians is the cross and the empty tomb. Um, the peace that says we're, that we are connected with God, that we're right with him, that we have all things in Jesus, that um, we have victory over every evil. Uh, and we have, vic uh, we have victory over our sin because of what Jesus Christ has done. We are forgiven and loved and empowered and redeemed uh, children of God. Um, and we have peace in this Jesus who, who uh, won on the cross and, and beat death once and for all on Easter morning um, in life and in death. Uh, we have peace with Jesus. So come and see the works of God. Take a look at him in the midst of our storms. When everything seems to be rattling away with great earthquakes, uh, just stop. See the water of life. Um, then this goes on. It says, be still, stop, see, and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. All those folks who have turned their back on me, I will still be exalted there at the end of all things. Huh? Um, I will be exalted in the earth. And then the psalmist says, as an ending, he says, the Lord Almighty is with us. The God of Jacob uh, is our castle, huh? is our fortress, is our castle. Um, so in the midst of COVID and the COVID variant, uh, in the midst of uh, Afghanistan, um, the horrors there, uh, in, in the midst of, of these things touching our lives, in the midst of the fires, in the midst of all the natural disasters, we think of Haiti with the earthquakes, in the midst of whatever struggle we have in our lives, uh, God is the rock of our salvation. He's with us. He's our castle. He holds us close. And as people who know him, we therefore, um, we therefore can reach out in, in the prayer of love for all those who are suffering in, in whatever way they might be suffering. Not only, so we pray not only for ourselves then, uh, but for all others. As Jesus says, love your neighbor as yourself. Um, so that, that's, that's what we're going to do to close our devotion time. Uh, Father, we thank you for this psalm. Uh, it, it sets our eyes straight again. Uh, yes, there's all kinds of things going around, uh, it, great storms, uh, great earthquakes in our world affects our lives and and the people around us that our hearts goes out to. Lord, we, we pray, first of all, that your spirit might touch our hearts and give us your peace. Pray also that you would put offensive protection around us and those who are close to us. Um, and yet, Lord, we also pray that you would, uh, that you would work in our world uh, to... Um, to, to raise up your people who might, in your love, uh, do works of love to those who suffer from natural disasters, whether that's the fires or, or whether that's Haiti or whatever it might be found. We pray that you might show us where and how you can use us in that. We do pray, Lord, that uh, uh, that your protection would be with the firefighters and your peace with those who have lost homes and and that soon these fires might come to an end. We, we think of all those who are suffering in Afghanistan. Lord, we, we pray that you would be with them um, with the soldiers who are soldiers who are still there and in harm's way that you would protect them with our citizens uh, but also those lord who uh, um, who are in great danger who are who are natives of afghanistan and and now their lives and families are in great danger we pray lord that you would provide a way out for them um we pray that uh that you would use the leaders of our world to push back evil wherever it might be found uh, push back the violence and the hatred and the evil that abounds in our world because of the evil one. Um, and we pray, Lord, that uh, empowered by your spirit, your people might continue to um, to bring your freedom and your love and your peace into the hearts of those who do not yet know them. Uh, we pray, Lord, that uh, they would uh, be given courage to do this and us with them. Um, we, we pray, Lord, that in the midst of this pandemic, 
uh, and how it's touching our lives. We pray, first of all, for your protection for us uh, and, and for those who are close to us. We pray that those who have this COVID variant, that your hand of healing and protection would be over them. And we pray that um, that soon that uh, you might put an end to this pandemic. You might give wisdom to our leaders and, and to our medical community as they try to, to lead us through this. Um, and give us wisdom, Lord, as as uh, as we go through this. Um, but Lord, we also pray for love in our hearts towards others. We pray that in everything we do and say, we might know that uh, that uh, we we ought, we are called to love others even as we love ourselves. And so we pray that uh, that your peace and your power and your blessing and joy might be with all of these who are suffering, and that you might use us to touch them with your love in our words and in our actions. Um, Lord, give us your peace this week, peace that goes beyond all human understanding, and from that peace is strength to love people in your name. For you are the rock of our salvation. We pray in your name. Amen. You're kidding. There. <laughs> May God be with you. Bye-bye.